Hey guys, hope you're all doing well as we welcome you back to our channel. How would you feel if you were just floating on the surface of a deep blue ocean in the dark? Sounds very scary, right? This is the kind of experience you get while getting floating therapy in a sensory deprivation tank. We'll tell you today how the sensory deprivation tank works and the benefits you get from it. What actually is a sensory deprivation tank? A sensory deprivation tank, also called a flotation tank or an isolation tank, is a kind of fully bounded tank that's especially used for a therapy called Restricted Environmental Stimulation Therapy or REST or REST. The tank used in the therapy is soundproof and also dark. It's filled with water to about 10 inches which is heated up to match the body temperature of the person getting in. The water is then saturated with a huge amount of Epsom salt also known as magnesium sulfate, which causes buoyancy, a state in which a person can easily float on the surface of the water. Who designed the isolation tank? The sensory deprivation tank was created by American neuroscientist John C. Lilly in 1954 for the first time in order to study the consciousness of the mind when it's deprived of all the senses by disconnecting it from all the external stimuli. However, his research got into controversy when he began using LSD, a sedative to boost his experiments. Later in the 1970s, the studies about the flotation tank resumed so they could identify its positive effects on health. How does it work? In order to get the therapy started, a person gets naked before entering the tank and is cut off from all the external factors such as sound, light, smell and gravity that could affect his senses. Then, the lid of the tank is closed and the person floats in complete silence and darkness in the water without feeling any kind of weight, neither physical or mental. After that, the person completely loses himself in that water and enters into a deeply relaxed state. What to keep in mind before getting into the tank? Before getting into the tank, a person has to keep a few things in mind. Firstly, you can't go into the tank with an empty stomach, so it's suggested that you should eat at least an hour before the therapy because an empty stomach can produce stomach growls which could distract you during the session. Also, don't consume any drug or alcohol before the therapy. A person has to take a shower before entering the flotation tank. Lastly, when you're floating in the water, it's more likely that you'll get water in your ears, so if you're someone who gets easily uncomfortable with this, then we suggest you use earplugs. Benefits of the Isolation Tank Many people have noticed positive physical and physiological health benefits after getting sensory deprivation therapy. The benefits could be long-lasting as well. It's been proven useful in treating insomnia, restlessness, stress-related issues, and other body-related physical pains because it numbs our senses, which leads to the overall well-being of a person. Let's look at some of the other benefits now. It can reduce anxiety. Many people who have undergone this therapy noticed positive changes in their health as it helped reduce their anxiety. Study research conducted in 2018 revealed that even a single hour session was effective in reducing anxiety related issues and depression by easing the stress. The reason for this is that flotation therapy causes the body to release more endorphins and also limits the production of the stress hormone called cortisol. It relieves pain. The therapy also helps with the treatment of physical body pains, including muscle tensions, stiff neck, and headaches. The therapy effectively relieves body pain and relaxes your muscles. It's achieved by slowing down the pulse rate and controlling the high blood pressure. This is one main reason why people spend their bucks to get in an isolation tank. Improves Athletic Performances Because the therapy has been efficient in treating physical pain, it's been proven that the therapy also improves athletic performance. A study held in 2016 showed that the therapy promotes speedy recovery after a hectic physical exercise by reducing the amount of lactate in the blood. Due to this reason, the therapy became popular among athletes as it helped them heal their overworked muscles after long sessions of strenuous competition and active training. It improves concentration. Although there isn't any strong evidence that the therapy helps improve concentration in everyone, there are some people who claim that after their sensory deprivation, their thinking ability became more precise and clearer, which enhanced their overall learning experience with improved concentration. Effects on Cardiovascular Health The most profound effect of flotation therapy 
is that it induces deep relaxation that helps treat all stress-related issues and makes you sleep like a baby. Research has shown that all cardiovascular diseases are mainly caused by issues such as stress and lack of sleep, so by treating them, the therapy indeed prevents many cardiovascular diseases. Boost Creativity Another very beneficial effect of the therapy is that it helped boost creativity and imagination in some people. People felt that they were in a trance-like state, which was almost like transcending their being. Possible Consequences of the Therapy The therapy is mostly beneficial for people, but the benefits may also come with some consequences. One side effect of the therapy is hallucinations in people who are prone to them, so be aware. This about wraps up our video, which we hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button to let us know, and also watch the two videos on your screen, as I'm sure you'll love them. We'll be seeing you guys later in another video soon. Until then, take care and goodbye.